Professor Stephanie, and today we're going to talk about ellipses and cylinders. Initially, an ellipse is a circle in perspective, and we use this circle in perspective to create our cylinders. Let's take a look at a penny. And as you look at this drawing, right in the center there, we're looking at a penny that's flat. And as you go up, the penny gets to look is elliptical, but then turns into a circle. Again, if we go back to that center and go down, we have some ellipses that turn into a circle. And there you can see Abraham Lincoln on the penny. So ellipses are circles in perspective. So when we try to create a circle, or I know you re we remember this from before, we take our square, we divide it proportionately, and create a circle. Here's a square in perspective that we also divided proportionately and got our ellipse. Let's take this into the cylinder world. We're going to go back to the idea of not only having a square, but turning that into a box. So take a two-point perspective box. We're going to divide the top into proportion. First, there's going to be the x. Then there's going to be the cross. We go from the cross to create, dividing this into thirds where the longer x's are and using points where the cross hits the edge. And those are going to become our guides to create this ellipse around the box. And it's going to be in perspective. Now, let's work on the bottom because we want to circle on the, the ellipse on the top and the bottom. You'll see we create the x. We put our um, guidelines down. That's the key to what we're talking about here is to get the guidelines from the top down to the bottom um, uh, on the edge of the, e the cross and where, the, where it is in the, in the um, X. Excuse me. Um, and then from there we can add our circular kind of elliptical shape and create a container. Here's a drawing of a small container that was oblong. And what I want you to notice in this drawing is how I started with a rectangular shape, divided the top, got my guidelines, created that ellipse around the top, used the lines to guide me to the bottom, and then created this elliptical shape. We often see this when we're working with plants and the container is um, in a cylinder shape. Start with a tall cylinder, divide that top, divide the bottom, and then keep your center because the plant usually comes from that center. This water container is a little bit more complicated. I'm hoping you'll notice the guidelines that are still used, the box that was created, how we're creating this cylinder inside that box using the guidelines. So in review, when you're creating a cylinder, and certainly as you get started drawing cylinders using this box uh, in perspective to give you the visual guides that you need can be very important. As you practice and become more proficient at cylinders and ellipses, there will be less need for that structure, but it's certainly great to have in the beginning. So once again, here's another lesson in being successful with drawing. Thanks.